Online learning has come a long way from its humble beginnings as simple, lifeless HTML splash screens to the more robust educational formats of video and interactivity that arouse the senses and enliven each learning experience. In its earliest years, we imagine the awesome potential of the internet as a pedagogical tool, but admittedly, many of us lacking foresight of where and to what degree this technology could bring us had our misgivings about its adoption. It seemed intuitive that you couldn't replace the value of personal instruction with the facsimile of distance learning. In some ways, we were right. What we didn't know was how personal online learning could become. Deliberate practice is the purposeful and systematic effort to perfect form. We know deliberate practice measurably improves human performance through focused attention and concentration. Performance psychologists rely on deliberate practice to graduate learners from novice to expert level in all human endeavors. Champion soccer players, golfers, and chess players can all benefit from deliberate practice. But perhaps nowhere is perfection of form more evident than in the practice of traditional martial arts. The attention to detail is obsessive, almost to the point of quirky, as each movement, each breath, each gaze of the eyes becomes meaningful towards the goal of expertise. The martial arts in one form or another is as old as time itself. Martial skills have been handed down from teacher to student for generations. This type of attention requires a serious commitment of time and resources that most people no longer have. In recent years, interest in the martial arts has faded as personal instruction has become too costly and too difficult for many to endure. This leads to some interesting questions. Will this ancient practice survive the coming years? Is the traditional practice of martial arts sustainable in the new age of information? Can it benefit from what modern technology offers us, or will it perish under the weight of its own principal training methodology? I have been asked to review the Matson Academy's online martial arts program to offer opinions about the content and delivery system that Matson uses to impart information to subscribing students who wish to begin or continue their martial arts training. In his program, Matson discusses the old way, reflecting on the patience and virtue once required to deeply understand the rectitude of martial training. He uses the term body flow to describe the process of developing memory, energy, power, speed, and timing, and promises to deliver a full understanding of these constructs in a 12-week program. Quite an ambitious claim. It's predating not only my humble beginnings by more than two decades, but also my birth. I don't pretend to have his depth of knowledge and insight into Weichiru Karate, nor do I claim to know the things that this practice has taught him about breathing, balance, or other biological systems that power his martial arts. These things he knows through his own practice, continuously, over time, and in his own words, by doing things the old way. So how is it that this online program can mimic this type of learning effectively? How can a learner have confidence that for their cost and effort, they will receive intelligent, meaningful, and purposeful instruction that can be absorbed and applied with the robustness of a traditional trained martial artist who has spent countless hours in the dojo? The answer, I think, lies in the pedagogy of Matson's method that he masterfully weaves into a high-tech training format using the power and inexhaustible resources of the internet. Each of his lessons is laid out with the same vigor as a traditional martial arts program. Using a video format, Matson uses a whole, part, whole practice philosophy that begins with the introduction of a basic skill. He breaks it down into its constituent parts in a way that he uniquely understands, and then requires you to practice steadily over time before imparting the next lesson to you. This time delay is built into the software. In this way, your body learns the skills at the neurological level where movement and motion become naturally adept. This is often referred to as muscle memory, a form of procedural memory by which repetitive practice promotes changes in the brain through an indelible linkage of cognitive processes and motor skills. Each part is practiced to relative perfection, then linked to the other constituent parts that form the more complex motor skill. I've noted that this is different than strict development of declarative memory that was the bane of earlier online training. By only reading about motor skills, you learn to talk a good game, but were never ready to take the field. The Matson system promotes learning through doing. There is very little reading and memorization of facts. You listen to Matson as he describes the inner workings of the skill. You watch him perform, and you do as the master teaches, precisely like dojo training. You are immersed in visual, auditory, and kinesthetic processes. You are required to spend a certain amount of time developing your assignments. You are coached along the way with messages and motivational encouragement. At all times, Matson remains available to you through email and other forms of digital communication. In person, like any good teacher, 
prepared to offer feedback and provide insight into your progress. You perform on camera and he watches you. For 12 weeks, you are to remain focused and diligent to your assignments. Like the real world, your progress depends on your process. But how can Matson provide you anything meaningful in just three short months? Surely you are aware that karate masters spend years, even decades, perfecting their skills. This is probably Matson's greatest achievement. By my analysis, his nearly 70 years of practice in martial arts has given him profound insight into the common themes of movement science that he gently weaves into each technique. Like a central nervous system that transmits signals throughout your body, Matson threads fundamental information into the lessons that form the basis for all movement and motion, empowering different skills capable of an inexhaustible different number of outcomes. One system with limitless potential. 70 years of experience boiled down to 12 applied weeks of study. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to understand movement. What you need to know is movement itself how motor skills interface with sensory perceptions, how the support systems of human activity like breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure are regulated and controlled to create the flow of body, mind, and spirit. You need to understand dynamic tension, the timing by which you loosen and tighten muscles to create power. These are the fundamentals that underlie all human movement, both consciously and subconsciously. The fundamentals of body movement extrapolated from a lifetime of study is the great achievement that Matson brings to the table, a boiled down interactive iteration of the principles that he has come to understand through doing. These are the things that transcend the textbooks and bring new life to the old way. I am confident that you won't become a master of karate in 12 weeks, but you will have developed the nucleus from which all advanced training relies. Decades of understanding in only three months. It will then be your job to apply those lessons with steady practice as you continue down the path of your martial arts training. I wish you great success as you explore the old way.